A new warning tonight about some popular antibiotics. News 12's Holly Hare has the story. Shira Volgarakis from Merrick says she took Levaquin for a sinus infection in 2003 and began having headaches and vision problems. Some blurred vision, some spotty vision, and then very suddenly I saw it was started seeing double. Um, so I knew something was definitely wrong. Shira says doctors discovered she had excess fluid on her brain and she had a spinal tap to relieve the pressure, but doctors weren't sure what happened. Then a few years later, she took Levaquin for another sinus infection. Shortly after starting the medication, same thing. And Shira's not alone. The Food and Drug Administration later added the problems she experienced to a list of possible side effects of Levaquin. Now the FDA has approved even more warnings for that class of antibiotics, saying they're associated with disabling side effects involving tendons, muscles, joints, nerves, and the central nervous system. Besides changing the warning labels on Levaquin and similar drugs, the FDA is also telling doctors not to prescribe it as much. The idea behind all of these warnings is don't use this drug if there are other choices. Dr. Aaron Glatt from South Nassau Communities Hospital says the drug still will be used in some cases. It's really just a heightened awareness for physicians that you really should not be prescribing this class of drugs unless you really have an extremely serious condition for which there's no alternative therapy. Shira says she tells doctors she's allergic to Levaquin, so they don't prescribe it to her at all. In Merrick, Holly Hare, News 12 Long Island. And for more information on the FDA's warning, check out our website, news12.com. Just click on numbers and links.